Welcome to the Shilke Coaching Classes, Vangni. This is a lecture for the 12 farmers subject SP, that is your secretarial practice and chapter called Deposits. First, I want to clarify you. It is not a deposits that we are depositing into the banks, but it is a deposit that we are depositing into the company, right? Yes. Now, there is a two types of companies, private company and the public company. Private company can accept the deposits from the members of the company only. Members means the owners of the company, right? Now, public company. The public company is allowed to accept the deposits from the general public also and members also, right? But the public company must have to satisfy any one conditions from the given two conditions. Then that company is called as eligible public company. The first condition is the net worth of the company should not less than 100 crore rupees. Now question is what do we mean by net worth? The net worth is simply calculated share capital plus reserves and surplus and less miscellaneous expenses that's your net worth right now second condition the turnover of the company should not less than 500 crore rupees now turnover means simply it's your sales sales of the company of that particular annual year right now now question is period and tenure of a deposits the deposit is accepted by the company minimum for the 6 months and maximum for the 36 months. Next pointer, secured or unsecured deposits. There is a two types of deposits, secured and unsecured. If there is a secured deposits, the charge is applicable within a 30 days from the acceptance of the deposits by the company. After that, next pointer is your joint name. It is allowed to the general public or the members to accept the deposits in the joint name. But maximum three persons are allowed or the three members are allowed to accept the deposits. Next pointer that is your nomination, right? While filling the application form of the deposits, the name of the nominee must have to mention in that form, right? After that deposit receipt. The depositor will get the deposit receipt within a 21 days from the depositing money into the company, right? Next, register of deposits. The company must have to maintain the register of deposits. The register of deposits is prepared within a 7 days from the acceptance of the deposits, right? Now, it's an interest, yes. Interest is provided by the company to the depositor as per the rules and regulations of the RBI. That's nothing but your Reserve Bank of India, right? Now, right to alter the terms and conditions of the deposits. The company or the depositor have no right to alter the alter is nothing but a change to alter the terms and conditions of the deposits, right? And now last point that that's your punishment. If any of the officer of the company contravenes the provisions of the company's act 2013, right? Contravention is nothing but a not following the conditions of the company's act 2013, then that officer is punishable under the company's act 2013. This is uh, information related to the deposits, right? 